Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. You know, the Bible is filled with what we would call signs of the times telling us that Jesus is coming back again. Of all the signs, of all the prophecies that have been fulfilled, the most significant is the return of the Jewish people to their homeland. On May 14, 1948, Israel became a nation. The Bible prophesied, it predicted that Jewish people would be scattered and regathered again. And scripture tells us when this event happens, that is effectively the start of the prophetic clock. Because not only did God predict that Israel would be regathered, but he predicted that a force from her north would attack her in the end times. Now, as we go to Ezekiel 37 and 38, we see this large nation attacking Israel, identified as Magog. Many Bible scholars and students believe Magog may be referring to Russia. If you look to the immediate north of Israel, there sits Russia. Here's another fascinating thing. One of the allies of Magog is Persia. Persia is the ancient name for what we now call Iran. Now, up until fairly recently, there was no alliance with Russia and Iran. But we've seen that they're coming together, Russia and Iran, in these days in which we're living. I just read an article in which President Putin traveled to Iran and met with the leaders there, including the Ayatollah, and they're forming a stronger bond. It's also worth noting that Iran has come out recently and said they now have the nuclear bomb. And this is of great concern because Iran has threatened many times to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. So the end time scenario, Israel is gathered in the land. Uh, Israel is attacked by the large force from her north with one of her partners being Iran. These are signs of the times reminding us that Jesus is coming back again. So what should we do in light of all of this? The Bible says, knowing that the time is late, we need to wake up out of our sleep for our redemption is near. So I think all of us need a wake up call. Man, if you're living a complacent, half-hearted Christian life, it's time to get back in the game, get back in the race of life and be ready to meet the Lord. Just uh, for an example, let's say we knew Jesus was coming back tomorrow at three o'clock p.m. Now, of course, we could never know that because the Bible says no one knows the day they are. But for the sake of an illustration, let's say we knew he was going to return tomorrow at 3 p.m. How do you think we'd be doing spiritually around 2.45 I think we'd be doing pretty well. We'd have our Sunday smiles and we'd be ready for the return of the Lord. Well, we don't know when Christ is coming back. He could come back tomorrow. He could come back before this day is even over. The main thing we need to do is be ready and be alert. So I encourage you, Christian, as we see these signs of the times, look up because your redemption is drawing near and tell other people about how they can come into a relationship with Jesus Christ, something to think about.